We're just sat outside the Framer Amsterdam office and it's beautiful 30 degrees outside, which is why I'm currently melting. We're going to be looking at an exciting new feature that has just arrived at to Framer called HTML to Framer. And this is going to be the quickest way for you to start hacking around with your pre-existing designs in Framer. The new Chrome extension allows you to copy and paste elements from any page and paste them straight into your into your projects and you can just start going from there. So we're going to be talking to Ado, who is the product designer behind the project, and he's going to tell us all about it. Um, so yeah, so Ado, can you just uh, jump straight in and briefly explain what um, HTML to Framer is and uh, what it allows users to do? Yes, absolutely. If you already have a website made with code or with WordPress or any other website builder, the extension allows you to easily copy it and paste it into Framer. Boom, that's it. Boom, that's uh, <laughs> simple, that's simple. Yes, easy as that. That's what we like. No more excuses not to try Framer. And so can you um, walk us through the process of using HTML to Framer, maybe show us an example of, of how it's used? HTML to Framer is available on the Chrome Web Store. Uh, it's the place where you can find extensions uh, for your browser. And it's also the place where you can install it from. Then you go to your own site, like this one I created as a demo. You hover on an element, uh, you click to copy, you head to Framer, you hit Command V to paste, and that's it. Really, it's this easy. Although a ton of work a ton of really great work went behind it. Um, thanks, Adam, for making it happen, by the way. So, Edo, uh, obviously your parents named you after the Edo period in Japanese history. And like the ninjas from that period, you kill uh, largely without mercy, but always to a code of honor, uh, which is what I've always appreciated about you. Uh, the, the ninjas are known for being methodical, so I know that you didn't just come up with this idea without like a, a strong mythology, mythology, mythology. <laughs> what inspired you to create this? What sort of user needs were you addressing when you thought this uh, feature through? Fantastic question. Fantastic question. Um, we know some people uh, that are following Framer since a while. Um, they are really excited about Framer. They saw uh, demos, they saw uh, the, 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 the speed, the pace at which uh, we ship. They get very excited about that. Uh, they really want to try Framer, but they don't have capacity to do so. Like they don't have like designers um, available to work on their sites like full time, or they are just like founders with uh, a startup uh and they do they design everything by themselves so they they don't really have time to invest uh in rebuilding their site from scratch the idea was how can we make it way easier uh and way more fun to start moving uh your site in framer can you give us a little bit about how the project got started and maybe some background on its development too yeah so uh during an internal hackathon i took this site made by friends is called Puli.com and I tried to remake it in Framer, tracking how much time I would spend on what. And, and I found out that most of it was taken by adding text and by matching uh, textiles like font, font sizes, spacing, color, downloading assets, re-uploading them, etc, etc. Uh, and all of it uh, was really not quick and not fun. Um, so I asked Kuhn, the Framer CEO, if he could help me in uh, building a very rudimental Chrome extension to copy uh, all these styles. Um, he said yes. So essentially, uh, this was our very first exploration. Uh, it would just list like all the styles, all the CSS styles of an element that you would hover on. And then the idea was you could just copy that and then paste the style in Framer. We realized we could do much more than that. We could copy entire elements with their content, like a full heading or a subheading, and copy that and paste the entire thing into Framer directly. That, that changed everything. That was like a aha moment. Um, and 
you can see here some mocks changing and they start to say you know copy uh, item uh, still listing the properties the properties were, were really also not needed anymore really so uh, we we thought why don't we simplify the ui to the maximum or or to the bare minimum um, and we just leave copy as a label and you just copy an element a simple toss says uh, you can copy more and then paste it this was like one of the first uh, prototypes so Ada, you're currently on trial in the court of internet yes. public opinion for creating a very um <laughs> very impressive um yet powerful website photocopying uh, machine how oh would you God. how would you answer those um, accusations um we are laughing but we actually take this very seriously Copying stuff that is not yours or that you don't have permission to copy from and then publish it as your own is, is really not cool. Um, despite this, any operating system has a save as option, right? It's uh, or the ability of taking screenshots um, or other infinite workarounds. And uh, any browser even has an inspect mode where uh, you can see the code under the hood and copy paste that too. So this extension is, is really no different from that. It's supposed to uh, be used for your own stuff, what you have permission for, or just for learning. Uh, that's up to you. This to me feels a lot like going back to the old web where things are a bit more remixable uh, and shareable. And I'm excited to see what people are making with it. Thanks very much, Ada. That was an amazing overview of HTML to Framer. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon, hopefully. Thank you. It was super fun. Thank you, Matt. See you. Ciao. So that was the brand new HTML to Framer feature, just one of the many updates that we've got coming out and have come out in, in recent weeks. Um, our release cadence is, is, is you know, it, it's hard to keep, keep on top of it. Uh, and I say that as someone who works here. So make sure to follow um, to our Framer Twitter account and visit framer.com forward slash updates to, to have any chance of keeping on top of these updates. How hot is in Barcelona at the moment? Um, I'm not in Barcelona, actually. Oh, yeah, you're, you're not, so sorry, you're not in, wait, are you not in Barcelona? No, of course, you're in the <laughs> middle of nowhere, in Italy. I just cut that, Monica, I didn't like it.